and welcome to another of the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today I'm going to answer the question of what is a data definition? And this is a really interesting question and I'm really surprised that nobody's asked me before. When I read the email of the person who sent this one in, it actually occurred to me that surely I'd covered that years ago, but I had a look back and it turns out I haven't. I've done a video on how to write good data definitions, and I'll put the link to that in the comments below. But I hadn't actually explained what a data definition is. And for that, I really apologize. It's a term that we use so often when we're doing data governance that it's really important that everybody understands what it means and when they're using it appropriately. So I thought, well, I clearly must do this, but I did think, I wonder why the person didn't just Google that one. It's a straightforward term, perhaps not one that people would get wrong online, but who knows? So in preparing for this video, I did a quick Google and I have to say, I wouldn't recommend it. You get lots of very technical things, um, including things like a data definition is the origin of a field that references a data domain and determines the data type and the format of data entry. And I don't know about you, but I know what a data definition is, and I don't think that's useful. Now, the main reason I don't think that and, and similar re uh, returns like that from Google are useful is because I know that from reading them, they were designed to describe data definitions in a data dictionary. And as you know, a data dictionary is a concept that's been around for many years. A data dictionary is, is created when a new system is created and put in place. So it's very technical from its viewpoint. And so it might have a definition of the data, but it's more worried about where it is in the database and some of the technical constraints around that data. Now, as data governance people, we're business people and our main audience are business users. They're not interested in the technical data about this. So when we talk data definitions from a data governance point of view, we're talking about the entries that are going to go into your data glossary or your data catalog. And we're not so fast about the technical side of things, although we can add that later. But initially, we're really trying to get out of people's heads what they mean when they use certain terms. Because you will find over time that various people will use the same terms in your organization, but they don't actually mean quite the same thing. And this then leads to people getting information and reports, et cetera, that they make decisions on that are not necessarily the right decisions because the data wasn't quite what they believed it to be. Now, there are some things that we all really do understand. So if you you probably have some personal data on some systems, whether it's employees or customers, and you probably have something like date of birth and first name and last name, you could easily write a definition for that that everybody in your organization is going to agree to. But then you get to slightly more complicated terms. Um, that take, you know, that perhaps only somebody who's an expert in that could write. But you can get some very basic terms like customer that people don't actually agree what constitutes a customer. Or I've worked with loads of universities and you should try asking them what a student is. There are so many variables and different parts to it. So what we're doing as part of data governance is helping a, an organization understand what data it has. And a huge part of this is getting data definitions out of people's heads, documented and agreed so that we can highlight where there are differences and make sure that everybody knows what this data really is. So writing definitions is really important and it's nothing overly complicated. When I'm talking about a data definition, I'm just talking about a short phrase or sentence or two that describes what that item is what it means. And I'd always say it should be written from the viewpoint that a non-expert in that area could read it and understand it. So when I'm working with my clients, one of the big tests of whether it's a good definition or not is, do I understand what it means? Because I'm not an expert in that organization and what they do. So if I can read it and go, that makes sense to me, it's a good definition. But as I say, I've put in the comments below a link to the video I did on how to write good definitions. If you're trying to get definitions written at the moment, that may be useful to you. 
So I hope that has been helpful. If it has, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking and sharing this video on your choice of social media. And I hope you'll um, join me soon for another video. And don't forget, if you have a question you'd like me to answer on one of these, just send it in to questions at nicolaascom.com.